Tell me where in the big O is our friend Dick Gibb. Hi, welcome back to Where in the Big O is Dick Gibb. Uh, today, we're in an established neighborhood, and uh, uh, it's up to you to find out or guess where we're at. Uh, this is a great house. It was built in 1947, and we're going to go inside and take a look at what values you find in established neighborhoods. We're talking about uh, established neighborhoods. Uh, this is in the Midtown area, and as they say in real estate, location, location, location. This is probably one of the best locations in the city. It has uh, homes built from the turn of the century, 1900s, uh, and the, uh, some of the many amenities you'll find is uh, hardwood floors, fireplaces, dining rooms, and a neighborhood that has uh, been timeless over the years. If you, if you look at your total cost of living and living in a midtown location, your, your drive to work, your, your fuel consumption, your, your taxes, uh, taxes in this area are normal city taxes, which are uh, 2.3, uh, the, I'm sorry, 2.13. Uh, versus some of the subdivisions that have SIDs that can run up to 3%. So you have tax savings, you have fuel savings. Um, the, the roofs in most of these houses are uh, permanent roofs, and the uh, uh, siding, uh, just stru structurally, uh, if anything's going to happen to these homes, it's happened in the last 40 or 50 years, so there's no surprises versus a newer neighborhood where you might have some uh, uh, issues on settling and, and those things. Part of the uh, advantages of living in this location or this area is the proximity to the cultural events. Uh, most of the things, cultural events happening in Omaha are happening in Midtown. Uh, you're looking at the Joslin Castle, the uh, uh, Quest Center, the ballpark, and all the all the fun things that are happening are happening downtown. Uh, living in in an area like this, there is a uh, annual fireworks event, a, a parade in a, a couple of different locations, and it is a, a good wholesome uh, area to not only to raise kids and schools are good. Okay, for your final clue, if you feel like some fish and chips or one of the hundreds of single malt scotches, it's not far away. Tell me where in the big O is our friend Dick Gibb. Tell me where in the big O is our friend Dick Gibb.